The Red Sox epic 19-inning victory over the Yankees on Friday night will go down as one of the most memorable games between these two longtime rivals. In the end, Red Sox outfielder Mookie Betts hit a sacrifice fly off Esmeel Rogers in the 19th to plate Xander Bogarts with the winning run. That ending, coming just after 2 a.m., put a cap on a strange night at Yankee Stadium. All good things come to an end at some point, Red Sox manager John Farrell told reporters after the game. Here are just a few of the notable numbers and events from the game. The game ran 6 hours, 49 minutes, making it the longest game by time in Red Sox history. It's also the longest game, time-wise, in the history of the Boston-New York series. However, the Yanks and Red Sox played a 20-inning game in 1967, which resulted in a 4-3 Yankees win. It is the longest home game, in terms of time, in Yankees history. It's the second longest Yanks game overall, behind a 7-hour, 22-inning marathon against the Tigers in 1962. Each team used 21 players. The two teams used a total of 17 pitchers, who threw a combined 627 pitches. Stephen Wright, the ninth pitcher for the Red Sox, pitched the final five innings to pick up the victory. The teams left a total of 33 runners on base. New York first baseman Mark Exera, who turned 35 at midnight, celebrated his birthday a few minutes later by belting a game-tying home run in the bottom of the 16th off of Wright. Adding to the surreal nature of the evening, a power outage knocked out some of the stadium lights in the bottom of the 12th, causing a 16-minute delay. Sure, in the win-loss column, it's just another early season game. But this marathon event will not be soon forgotten. It's one game that seemed like about six, Yankees manager Joe Girardi said. We move on.